Hello, I'm Joe, you're watching Phone House Online, and today we're taking a look at Acer's brand new smartphone, the Liquid Jade S. Now it's the updated version of 2014's Liquid Jade, obviously does everything significantly better than that handset, and more broadly speaking, is part of Acer's drive to become more involved in the mobile technology market, and they've actually got quite a few new products coming out in 2015 that you guys should keep an eye out for. So, first things first, how does it feel in your hand? Well, it fits in my hand, that's a good start. When designing it, Acer obviously had practicality in mind, because let's face it, quite a lot of high-end handsets don't actually fit in your hand. It's also nice and light, which is something to be valued these days as well. Some people have criticised the matte finish at the back, said it makes it a little bit slippy when you're holding it. Not a problem for me, I actually think it's a really nice looking handset. So, what does it do well? Well, considering it's a mid-range smartphone, it actually is pretty high spec. It's got front and rear cameras. You've got 13 megapixel on the back and a 5 megapixel on the front. This means you can get that all-important selfie and get it just right from any angle. It's also dual SIM. Now, what that means is if you're one of those people who has two phones, one for business, one for pleasure, then it means you can combine both of them in just the one handset, nice and easy. It's got something called an octa-core processor. Now, what that means in English is it's about eight times faster than your normal processor, which really means your phone will run quickly and smoothly and effectively, which is obviously invaluable. Finally, you may have noticed this snazzy piece of wristwear that I've got going on here. This is the Acer Liquid Leap smartwatch. Now, we saw a lot of smartwatches in 2014. This is a continuation from that. It's a fitness tracker, as lots of them are, but it also connects to your handset via Bluetooth and you get notifications when you have a phone call, a message, an email, a tweet, all that sort of thing. And for more information about smartphones and smartwatches and also the Liquid Leap smartwatch itself, then make sure you check out our other videos. So, what happens when you put the Liquid Jade S up against its biggest rival? Well, to be honest, it actually does pretty well. If you put it up against something like the Moto M, then it's got around twice the video resolution and a much better camera than the Motorola handset, and then go even higher spec and put it up against something like the hugely popular Galaxy S5 from Samsung, and while it's not as good as that, it does do not too badly, to be honest, and it's also considerably cheaper, which, I mean, that works for me. So, who's going to like it? Well, obviously, tech junkies out there are going to dismiss it out of hand. The reason being it's not innovative enough, doesn't do anything special, anything whizzy dizzy. But if you want a smartphone that you don't need a wheelbarrow to lug down the road, it actually, imagine this, fits in your pocket, does everything a smartphone should, has a good camera, nice and fast, looks cool as well, then this is the perfect mid-range smartphone for you. That being said, it's not hugely innovative, that's why I've given it three out of five. See you next time.